Hello and welcome. My name is Amelia and I work at the Office of the Healthcare Advocate at Vermont Legal Aid. This video gives a quick overview of the laws protecting you as a farm worker in Vermont and in other New England states. This video also gives some information about resources for farm workers. These resources are available for you if you have any questions about your legal rights as a farm worker and about the COVID-19 virus. Today, we're going to talk about workers' rights about the COVID-19 virus and some other general farm worker legal rights. Our topics include, we'll be talking about legal services, COVID-19 issues, workers' compensation, minimum wage, and some federal legal protections for farm workers. My guest today are attorneys that work with farm workers. My guest here is Cielo Mendoza, attorney Cielo Mendoza from Legal Services Vermont, and attorney Nicholas Meyer from Pine Tree Legal Assistance of Maine. Cielo and, and Nicholas, thank you so much for joining us. Tell me some more about yourselves and about the work that you do with farm workers. Hi, I'm Cielo. I am an attorney with Legal Services Vermont, and um, I've been in practice for about 14 years, and I'm grateful to be part of this project, helping um, farm workers and um, bringing um, legal assistance to them. Um, I just want to let you know that my help is always free, and you can reach me at 1-800-889-2047. Again, that's 1-800-889-2047. And I do want to share that um, our hotline is always um, confidential. Thank you. Hi, welcome to this afternoon's presentation. My name is Nicholas Meyer. I'm an attorney with Pine Tree Legal Assistance in Maine. I've been working with farm workers in Maine and New England for many years. It's my pleasure to be here this afternoon. I thought I might start this afternoon by describing a little bit of who we are. Pine Tree Legal Assistance and Vermont Legal Services are two organizations made up of lawyers and paralegals dedicated to help farm workers with legal issues. We offer legal advice and representation at no cost to eligible farm workers. Our communications with you are always confidential. We represent workers who work in the fields, such as orchards and vegetable farms, but also dairy workers and workers in fruit and vegetable packing houses. We represent workers on laws and protections related to COVID-19, sure, but also basic employment law protections such as failure to pay minimum wage, working conditions, and housing conditions. We also put together free education materials such as our annual workers' rights calendar. Please contact us if you'd like to get a copy of our calendar, which explains many worker legal rights. You can either call Legal Services Vermont or Pine Tree Legal Assistance and we'll send you a free calendar or give us a call if you've got any questions. Thank you, Cielo and Nicholas. So right now there is a pandemic, an illness that is spread across the world and this illness is now in the United States, including Vermont and other New England states. This is an illness that spreads quickly from person to person. So what do farm workers need to know about this illness, which is called COVID-19? The coronavirus or COVID-19 is very important. It has led to new recommended prevention practices and new laws. COVID-19 is a respiratory illness. To help prevent it, it is important to follow the government recommendations by always wearing a cloth face mask when you are around other people. Also wash your hands thoroughly on a regular basis or use hand sanitizer. If possible, you should keep a distance of six feet, or two meters between you and other people. If you do get sick, symptoms include having a fever and a cough. If this happens to you, do not try to continue working. Tell your boss right away. You should be given the ability to stay in a place away from others until you get better. You must be given adequate food and water. If you get very sick, call 911 as this represents a serious emergency. Thank you, Cielo. So hand washing is very important to help prevent the spread of this illness. What should you do if you don't have any clean water for hand washing? First, ask your boss to provide it. The law provides that you have clean water within a quarter mile of where you are working. Because of the current pandemic, the federal government has recommended that clean water for hand washing be made even more available. That's right, Cielo. 
farm workers must have reasonable access to hand washing facilities. That includes soap, clean water, and single use towels. If you don't have any of these, please contact us. Thank you. So what if someone can't work because they are too sick to work um, because of this virus? The law provides that you get two weeks or 80 hours of paid sick time for the COVID-19 illness. And it's illegal for your employer to retaliate or discriminate against you for taking this sick time. If you get sick at work, you might also have a claim for workers' compensation. By the way, all farm workers are entitled to workers' compensation. You get workers' compensation if you're injured or get sick at work due to a work condition, whether or not it's from COVID-19. You have the right to get medical treatment at no cost to you. The insurance company will pay for your medical bills and possibly some of your lost wages. Got it. So what should workers do if you get injured or you get sick at work? So if you're injured or get sick at work, you should notify your boss right away. You should get medical treatment right away. And you should tell your doctor that you were injured at work. You should you should make sure that you follow your doctor's orders also, even if this means missing some work. You should also um, keep track of medical records and docu other documentation. And for migrant workers, I might add, if you're still injured when you go home, you can still receive medical care, but it's best to start your treatment and your claim before you leave. If you have any specific questions, please contact us. Thank you. So what else should farms be doing to make a safe workplace for you? Your employer is obligated to provide a safe work environment free of hazards. This includes protections against the coronavirus. You should be, be provided personal protective equipment if necessary, cloth face masks, and the ability to keep six feet apart from other workers. If you have concerns or questions about the safety of your work, please contact us for additional details at one of the numbers at the end of this video. Thank you. So the numbers that you can contact if you're in Vermont is 1-800-889-2047 for Legal Services Vermont. And if you're in another um, state in New England, you can contact Pine Tree Legal Assistance at 207-942-0673. So um, let's talk more about some general workers' rights. For example, let's talk about the minimum wage for farm workers. I'm glad you brought that up. All workers have a legal right to earn at least the minimum wage. Some workers, such as H-2A workers, have a right to earn more than the minimum wage, a special wage for these workers. So how much is the minimum wage? The minimum wage in Vermont New Hampshire and Maine is the same as the federal minimum wage. That's seven dollars and twenty-five cents per hour. If you're paid by the piece, you still are entitled to minimum wage. Um, your wages for the week must average at least the minimum wage at seven dollars and twenty-five cents per hour. Um, I might add that generally, farm workers are not entitled to overtime. Although some packing house and nursery workers do get overtime. Oh, and I mentioned H-2A workers. Those workers who are here with a temporary visa to work on a farm, um, and they get a, a wage of called the adverse effect wage rate. But anyhow, that wage is $14.29 per hour. And workers who work with H-2A workers are also entitled to that wage. Thank you, Nicholas. So if you're working by piece, how do you keep track of whether you're getting this minimum wage? Do you have to keep track of your own hours that you work? You don't have to, but it's a good advice to keep track of your own hours each day. You should write down the hour you start, the time you take for lunch, and the time you finish up at the end of the day. Um, if you paid in piece rate, you should write down the number of pieces you made, buckets or boxes that you picked, and the piece rate of that crop. It's important to keep track of these things as your boss might make a mistake. If possible, keep a folder or envelope at home where you can put your record. Um, also, your pay stubs are important documents. Put them in an envelope also and save them. You never know when you might need them. Thanks, Nicholas. So, Cielo, now let's talk about safety and housing. If your employer provides housing, it must be in good shape. It must be inspected each year. 
It must be safe and have clean water. Garbage must be review removed regularly and the bathrooms cleaned. Sufficient storage for your food and personal items must also be provided. There are charges or expenses for the housing. The information must be posted. Under current circumstances with the coronavirus, workers should sleep a minimum of six feet apart, preferably head to toe, to avoid spread of the virus. There should be barriers such as wood or plastic between beds. Bunk beds should be avoided. If you have any specific questions, please contact us. It's possible that we can relay your concerns to the employer without using your name. Thanks, Yellow. So any last things that farm workers in Vermont and other New England states should know? What I'd like to mention is that there is a federal law called the Migrant and Seasonal Agricultural Worker Protection Act. This is a long name, but it's a federal, federal law that's designed to protect farm workers and covers most farm workers and workers on, on farms in certainly in New England and in the United States. Underneath this law, you've got the right to accurate information about work at the time that you're recruited or you're hired the right to accurate and complete pay statements, clean and safe housing, transportation and safe vehicles if your employer provides transportation, and you also have the right to prompt payment of all wages when due. If your employer violates any of these provisions, you're entitled to up to $500 per violation, sometimes more. We do a lot of cases of this type. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching this short video about farm worker rights. This video has just been a quick discussion of some of the legal rights of farm workers in this region. If you have any specific questions, please give a call to Ciela Mendoza at Legal Services Vermont at 800-889-2047. If you are a farm worker in another New England state, that includes Maine, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Massachusetts or Rhode Island, you could call Nicholas Meyer at Pine Tree Legal Assistance at 207-942-0673, or you can reach Nicholas via WhatsApp at 207-233-2930. This legal advice and legal conversations for farm workers are, is always free and it's always confidential. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.